law of triangle of forces this law is generally used to find resultant of two forces of two forces so where two number of forces are there you can use this law to find out the resultant and that is similar than the law of parallelogram of forces but here generally we use cosine and sine rule cosine and sine rule now if we look at to the statement of this law so that states that if two forces are simultaneously acting on a particle and though that are represented in terms of magnitude and direction by two sides you can say the two adjacent sides of a triangle taken in an order that is one by one then the third row or a third side or the closing side of a triangle that is drawn in opposite order that represents the resultant of above two forces in terms of magnitude and direction so this is a statement of uh, law of triangle of forces now if we look at to the statement and that is simultaneously acting on a particle and if that is represented by two sides of a triangle then the third side that will be a closing side of the triangle that is nothing but represents the resultant of the given above two forces and everything is in terms of magnitude as well as in direction now we just look at to the proof of that law of triangle of forces so let us we just take a force p and a force q and those forces are acting at uh, some angle theta at point a so this is force q and this is force p now as per law suggests that these two forces can be drawn as the two sides of a triangle and that is taken into order so in this force system first of all we take a force q that is the 
one of the side of that particular triangle so that we take as a force Q and the second force in order that we take as a P but maintaining the direction of the force as well as the magnitude of the force. Now if we close that triangle with uh, third side of that triangle so that will represents the resultant R. So angle here if this is alpha is angle in this triangle here is a theta but we take here alpha and here we take a theta angle and the interior angle that we take a beta angle. Now here if we name this so this is A, this is B and C. So this is an ABC triangle. So in this resultant R that is nothing but a third side of this triangle that is AC. Now to find out the magnitude of resultant R it can be found by a cosine formula and the cosine formula is nothing but AC square that is the side of triangle is equal to AB square plus BC square minus 2AB into BC cos beta where beta is nothing but 180 minus theta so we can write down that where beta is equal to 180 minus theta now taking the sides and respective name of the forces so here we have uh, again a uh, equation if you put the force into the equation so r square is equal to q square ab is equal to q plus bc bc is equal to p so p square minus 2 p q cos beta so this is our equation now if we rearrange that equation and if you write down in form of the resultant r value so that is again a r, r is equal to square root of p square plus q square minus 2 pq cos beta so this is the equation that gives a magnitude of the resultant by using the law of triangle of forces similarly for the direction of the resultant that is found by using a sign rule and sign rule that is nothing but we know that now using sign rule we just write down sides and the corresponding angle so that is AC divided by sin beta is equal to BC divided by sin alpha so or you can write by putting the force R is equal to sin beta is equal to P is equal to sin alpha and if you want to find out the angle alpha so this angle you want to find out by using this equation so you can make a alpha is equal to sin inverse p by r sin beta so with this equation 2 you can easily find out the particular angle or you can say the direction of the resultant that will make with the force Q. This is all about law of triangle of forces.